Good morning, New York traders. Privateer FX coming at you with a little bit of New York open preview. Not a lot going on in Europe today. Very, very subdued foreign exchange market. Uh, dollar yen's been 60.05. I'm now back at the low end of this range, just bouncing around. Uh, interestingly, I guess we printed 05, which was the high on the Corona news late on Friday. Something of note. Perhaps we could get some legs if we get above that level. Although it feels pretty offered uh, at the moment. Cable done nothing. Tried the downside. 93 low. Back up to. 141.20. The high last night is 60, so we're mid range. Euro dollar, same thing. We printed an 85 low in, in Asia. Now we're sort of the top ish end of the range, but middle of nowhere. Not much to do. Things of note US 10 year, 271.5. That thing is uh, breaking out again. Take a look at these dailies. That's a breakout candle folks um, no sign uh, that this is going to end anytime soon we're looking for higher US rates uh, what's driving it God knows but the chart says higher logic sort of says higher if you put your 30-year logic hat on so we're just happy to let this thing roll higher and, and uh, see where it takes us Eventually, this rate scenario is going to bite in foreign exchange. For now, the correlation is pretty much off. Uh, but at some point, it will be back on. You just have to be patient and wait for it. The only foreign exchange trade we did this morning is where long dollars are. Uh, you know, up through 94, we felt like this is time. So we've got a little core long on, decent average. We don't think this is going to get back below. Uh, 1185 and we're still we're going to be lurking on it any new bull bear line to add so we'll be adding through 12 we'll be adding through 1216 with the idea that we're just waiting for some bad news political bad news out of South Africa we know there's a drought in Cape Town we know that uh, the place is upside down financially as far as debt to GDP go, goes, and as far as just general organization goes, uh, but we need some headline news to get this ship moving, and we're just kind of serendipitously trying to time this. Social amounts, uh, no conviction yet. We need a we need a bullish daily close, which we haven't had in a long time since basically. 14.4. We've had no bullish daily closes. Literally zero. I guess you could argue this was one, but we there was one bullish daily close uh, back on the 7th of December. But the rest of them are all big-tailed bearish momentum type bars. Once we see that first bullish bar, uh, we'll have some more conviction and the amounts will get, shall we say, larger than just social. Aussie CAD Kiwi done nothing. Um, the bulk of the news comes out on Wednesday, which will be month end. State of the Union and FOMC. Today looks like sort of a range bound, uh, sort of crappy day in FX. So we don't really, I'm not recommending sinking, sinking your teeth into anything. Equities have come off 10 handles. Uh, we're not going to get too excited about that. Uh, this is a delayed price here. We're down at uh, 63 at the moment. Um, one of the charts we are looking at today, uh, exceptionally, is uh, this Google chart. Just a very unique setup here. I don't even know what you call this on candlesticks, but it's a perfect doji close at the high. Um, so. What does this mean for us? Well, it means that it got Google got dragged up by the ridiculous uh, move to the top side in stocks on Friday. 
should attract some uh, buyers, sort of breakout buyers here through 1187. Uh, but we don't care about the top side. We're really only looking at the downside. So if you just put your forward-looking lens on, the trade here is actually to sell Google through this triple bottom, 1167. Normally we don't sell Google ever. Uh, I don't think we've ever been short Google. But if you just take away the name, stop calling it Google, and you just looked at this chart, let me just go back. This is the daily for basically 2017. Um, looks ripe. And if this was anything, I don't care if this was corn, beetroot, orange juice futures, hogs, nat gas, dollar yen, don't care. The trade for privateer FX here is to sell Google through 11.67. Really, 1167.50 will have the entries. Got to take a look around and see what's happening overall with uh, the equity indices and just put a professional, disciplined stop on this thing. Um, but this looks like a good entry for shorts for the old alphabet. Who would have guessed we're shorting the alphabet? Anyway. This is of interest to us today. There's not much interest in FX. Cryptos, Bitcoin's like mildly lower, but not really doing much. Uh, Ethereum, 1200, again, not doing much. Very, very steady. Uh, no real trades there. Uh, for the rest of G7, we are just in wait mode. We're looking for good prints. We're keeping our eye on things. We are open-minded to either side. Probably a minor bias to dollar strength just based on rates and some of the daily candlesticks particularly this setup in Euro. This looks like it wants to go lower, big tail, lower highs. We haven't made lower lows yet and certainly there's going to be buyers in Euro down at that 122.75, 123 the figure area. So patience Patience, patience. But check out Google. Might be a fun little fun little trade today. Alright guys, be well. Happy Monday. Talk to you later. See you tomorrow at the uh, European Open. My US colleagues will take over from here. <laughs>